Sesame chicken, not your traditional as sesame chicken that you get at the fast food Chinese joints. This one's kind of like our own thing and we're excited to show you yet another full meal that we're throwing down on the Pit Boss Sierra Griddle. You want to see how we get it done? Stick around while we dig in. Yeah, that's right. If you're familiar with this channel, you know one of our favorite things to throw down on the griddle are these Asian cooks. We've got Valentine's, what, just a little over a month away from now. So you're starting to plan. You don't want to go out to dinner for Valentine's Day. Deal with the traffic, the rush, the prices. You can do this romantic dish all at home and impress your loved one right here on the griddle. So we are going to get to the groceries because there's a lot. Speaking of the groceries, um, I'm not going to name them all. I'm just going to show you some of the stars of the, of the show, like these, uh, these chicken breasts that we have right here. We've got these Chinese noodles we'll be using for the stir fry, the vegetables for the stir fry, like bell pepper, red and green. We've got sweet onion. We're using garlic, not pictured ginger paste or butter that is in here, carrots, and we've got some of our sauces. You know we are saucy people from soy sauce to sesame oil, uh, oyster sauce, and a whole lot more. So we're basically going to show you how we got this done. First of all, we used about a cup and a half of this low sodium soy sauce. Yes, I know regular soy sauce was pictured. Low sodium is what we're using for this cook. So about a cup and a half. We used about two full tablespoons or so. We measured with the heart of the sesame oil. Then we threw in some garlic paste, some oyster sauce, and we mixed. We got this all together. We placed the chicken inside. And then uh, we ended up being about an hour marinade. We said 30 minutes at first, but now it's been an hour halfway through. We, we thought, you know what? Let's put some ginger paste in there as well. So we've got ginger in there with this a delicious marinade that we have. And then to make the skewers, here's what we did, we just took the uh, the pieces of chicken out and we snaked them on to make sure they were on secure and tight because in the marinade, the chicken really started to loosen up. So we made these, we got four skewers out of them and now we've got them and we're here ready to cook. So for starters, we're going to use this half stick of butter and throw it down. This is going to be for the veggies. As you can see, this is really hot. I've got the burners all on low, but this is screaming really hot. That's one thing that we love about these griddles is how hot they cook. So we are going to start with the garlic and the, oh jeez, they really came out of there. Gonna get the garlic down there too. That's why we wanted the butter on there because we don't want the, the garlic to burn. Now Sherry and I discussed where we wanted to do the veggies because normally we do the veggies over here on the left. And I said, you know what? We seem to lose veggies down the hole right there when we're doing, especially as many of the veggies as we're doing here tonight. So now while these are going, I'm gonna go ahead and get the skewers going. Now these are gonna cook fairly quickly. So here's what I'm going to do. Place them straight down like so. And then I want to spoon this very gently because we just want to keep this seasoning on. Now, yes, this is from the marinade. Don't worry, the marinade is going to cook away any of the bacteria from the chicken. The chicken is cooking as well. And then when the veggies are going. The yeah, the carrots are going to go last because they cook so quick. I really love the colors of the, of the veggies here. Lots of green, we got the pops of white, and of course the red. They smell really good. Okay, all right, we're gonna start flipping and checking. Look, you're getting a nice little sear on that chicken. Looks absolutely beautiful. There we go. And that's all we're doing with the chicken. We're flipping, flipping, rolling, and going. And then once the chicken's done, we're gonna go ahead and get the noodles over there. All right, so now we're gonna put a little bit of the sesame oil. And I'm t when I say little, I mean very little. A little goes a long way. And then this is some more of our low sodium soy sauce. We're using, we're using a bottle from that Japanese barbecue sauce that we absolutely love, that this is low sodium soy sauce. Oh, that smells really good. Stir fry, by the way, if you did not know, frying meat or and or vegetable over high heat while constantly cooking. So this is, now we don't necessarily have it on high, I just turn it to medium high, but this griddle is really hot. 
so it is getting the job done. All right, I'm gonna flip these skewers, see how they're looking. Beautiful, look at that, they're getting nice cooked through. Uh, and that's the biggest thing is we gotta make sure this is cooking all the way through. And so that's why we're just turning almost like a rotisserie uh, the best way that we can. All right, let me put some more of this marinade on. This will be the last time we put it on. We wanna make sure that it cooks off any of the bacteria that's in here. So we'll go ahead and toss the rest of this. All right, now we're adding the carrots. The reason why we're um, adding them last is they cook very quick. And so that's, that's pretty much the reason, that's it. Now I'm going to add a little bit more sesame oil, a little more soy sauce and salt and pepper to the carrots. Or now that we've added the carrots. All right, just a few more minutes left here on the veggies. From start to finish, we're at what, probably about 15 minutes in, Sherry? That's it, so this, this whole cook doesn't take too long. These are almost done, the skewers are almost done. We're gonna pull the veggies and we're gonna put the noodles right here. All right, and last but not least, we're gonna add a little bit of this oyster sauce. All right, so the vegetables are pretty much done, so now we're just gonna take them and Sherry's pulling double duty, camera and bowl holder. So that's done, now I need to clear a spot for the noodles. Okay, actually before, because I think the chicken is done as well. Yeah, so let me flip them one more time. Okay, look how good that looks. Now before we pull these, I'm going to. All right, so I'm gonna throw about a half stick of butter down for the noodles, just make sure that they don't stick. Now what I, I did is I, I had ended up turning the, uh, the griddle on medium to medium low to medium to uh, get the veggies as well as the chicken cooking. So uh, when, I, when I cleaned this off to get, or at least sprayed it down to get the, uh, the excess sticky soy sauce and everything off, I turned these back to low because these noodles are, are pre-cooked. So they don't have to cook here on the griddle. We're just warming them back up because part of the process of cooking these is you cook them and then you rinse them immediately in cold water once you, once you strain them. So we're just going to get these heated up. I'm gonna put some of the sauces in there and then we'll be ready to plate. Now, the reason why I'm just like kind of tossing these is I don't want to cut into them and then so that, that we have all these chopped up little noodles. Sesame oil. And I did not know I had any of this stuff left, but our friends at ABC Sweet Soy Sauce, the, uh, they sent us some sweet soy sauce. Sherry went in, she said, we still have a bottle left. So boom, we're gonna be using this for the noodles. Okay. All right, gonna kill the heat. These are done. All right, well, there it is in all its glory and it smells so amazing. So uh, before we get into it, like we say, it can look amazing. I think it looks absolutely amazing, Sherry. Absolutely. <laughs> like we say, it can smell amazing. Can I get a smell? Yeah. Smell, yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. But if this doesn't taste amazing, then this is all for naught. So cheers. I'm going to start with the chicken. I'll eat to that. Mmm. Oh my gosh, that is so perfect. Packed with absolute flavor. I put a little salt and pepper on the end because I, I forgot to at first. Doesn't need it, absolutely doesn't need it. It's not over salt and pepper, it just simply doesn't need it. Now I'm gonna try some of these noodles, which are <laughs> gonna be kind of hard. So here, I'm gonna kind of do a cut up here. Here we go. Mmm, mmm, <laughs> sorry about that. What a great meal. This is great. 
you want to make something special for Valentine's Day or for any occasion, this is the way to do it. You saw how easy it is. A quick little marinade ended up being an hour because we had football on, we were doing other things. But yeah, you can have this whole thing done really easy, really quickly, and it is really delicious and a great way to say I love you. If this gave you another, another idea of something that you can throw down on your flat top, on your griddle, make sure to give us a thumbs up. It is one way in which you can support us. Also, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook is out now, so you can purchase that at any bookstore, online, of course, Amazon, we have the link below. Also, you have the pre-order for our next cookbook, Smashed. Yes, that is also up for pre-order. It's out, I think, May 16th, so you can check that out at Amazon as well. Again, we have a link for both books down below. And with that, we bid you adieu, and don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on!